the chicken of the family. You know who would be perfect to read this? Miss Lillian, but she's been quarantined just like everybody else, so she's not really available. She's stuck up in her chicken coop. <laughs> in fact, every time I see this episode of The Golden Girls, I think of Miss Lillian because I think she'd be perfect to be with these gals, especially dressed up in these chicken outfits. I wonder, though. What are you wondering? Well, hey! <laughs> hey, look, everybody. It's Lily T. Rose, <laughs> Miss Lillian's cousin. <laughs> How are you doing? Delicious. So funny. Cousin, sister. Well, it's so good to see you. You know, we were just talking about your cousin, Miss Lillian. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she's also my chicken sister. You know, it's amazing how much you two look alike. Some people say we look like twins. Yeah. You know, we love Miss Lillian. Yeah. And, you know, we love you too. It's just we don't get to see that much of you. Yeah. Would you do me a big favor since you're here? Sure. I've been having my friends read different stories to the kids so they can take tests during this quarantine time. Would you mind standing in for Miss Lillian and read The Chicken of the Family for us? I'd love to. You would? Yeah. That would be great. Here, here you go. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, we're so excited. Oh, boy. Oh, look, we chickens. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Marvin. I love seeing you. Oh, you little friends out there. Oh, me too. Oh, yes, Chicken Little. Look, this book's called The Chicken in the Family. The Chicken of the Family. We got a chicken in our family, don't we? Yeah, she's a little wild. Yeah, she's my chicken sister, a twin. Yeah, and I'm reading for her today. <laughs> yes, I'm Lily Chicken Twin. And we are reading this book. It's by Mary Amato, illustrated by Delphine Durand. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, Chicken Little, hold on. Oh, man, Chicken Little will be back at the end of the story. Oh, my goodness, it's going to be fun. Yeah, I've got a chicken in my family. <laughs> Yeah, we all know her, don't we? Mm-hmm. Oh, the chicken in the family. <gasps> Henrietta had two older sisters who loved to tease her. Oh, man. Have y'all ever been through that? Mm-mm-mm. I have. That's right, chicken little. Well, she hated it when they laughed at her and made fun of her games. Oh, no. I don't know why they did that. I guess we'll find out, huh? One night, Henrietta was lying in bed, trying to decide what to dream about. <sighs> when, boo, <gasps> her sisters popped up right beside her, and Henrietta screamed, ah! Oh, man, that will scare me, too, not sleeping, huh? <gasps> we have a secret to tell you, said Kim, her bigger sister. You're a chicken. said Henrietta. <laughs> no, it's true, Kim said sadly. You really are a chicken. Mom got you from Barney's farm, didn't she, Claire? Uh, Claire just nodded. Mm -hmm. but, but I don't even look like a chicken, Henrietta argued. <sighs> you do too, Kim said. Your legs are yellow and your toes are long. Henrietta's legs were kind of yellow, and her toes were long. <laughs> I've got chicken toes. That's right, Chicken Little. <laughs> he loves stories. <laughs> well, what about your feathers, she asked. Uh, I don't have any feathers. Yes, you do. You grow feathers every night, and we have to pluck them out before you wake up. That's our job. It's why we get more allowance than you do. Right, Claire? <laughs> Claire just nodded. <clears throat> Henrietta put her pillow over her head. I don't believe you. Kim sighed. What do you eat every morning for breakfast, Henrietta? Uh, cereal? Aha! Kim pulled away the pillow. That's what chickens eat. And what do we eat every morning? Uh, eggs? Aha! Where do you think we get the eggs? From, from the grocery store? Wrong, Kim said. We get them from you. You do not, Henrietta pulled her sheet over her head. Sweet dreams, Henrietta, Kim said. Sorry, Claire added. Oh, poor Henrietta tried to sleep, but she couldn't stop worrying. What if they were telling her the truth? She closed her eyes and chanted, I am not a chicken. I am 
not a chicken. I am not a chicken. Oh. The chant helped her fall asleep. And when she woke up, she jumped out of her bed and looked in the mirror. <gasps> See, she wasn't a chicken. She was a girl, a perfectly normal girl. <laughs> I wish I knew what that felt like. <clears throat> but there in her bed was an egg on the floor. And by the bed were two brown feathers. <gasps> her sisters were right. She really was a chicken. She crept down the stairs and peeked in the kitchen. Her family was gathered around the breakfast table. Yeah, she was peeking in the door, you see. Kim was singing her I Love Bacon song. And Claire and her parents were laughing and joining in. They sounded so human. Hmm. Human. Are you a human? We'll find out. Henrietta couldn't face them. She had to find her real family. So she slipped out the front door and walked down the road to Barney's farm. She passed the barn and headed to the meadow where there was a wooden hen house. A dozen chickens were out strutting in the long grass. Oh, look, the chickens were strutting in the grass. That looks like fun, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, look, <laughs> she's dancing with the chickens out here. It's me, Henrietta said. I'm home. A small brown chicken hopped from foot to foot and clucked. Hey, maybe she's my little sister, Henrietta thought. It would be nice to have a little sister for a change. Henrietta hopped and replied, Can y'all do that? I can. I know you can, chicken little. Another chicken flapped her wings, and Henrietta flapped, and the chickens strutted around, and Henrietta followed. Oh, look, like they're dancing in a line. Hey, <laughs> looks like they're in Hollywood. <laughs> when the fattest hen ran, ran over to a patch of dirt and flapped dirt all over herself, Henrietta did the same. After a while, the little brown hen started a game of tag. Henrietta was it. And when Kim and Claire came on their bikes, their faces were red from huffing and puffing. <sighs> We've been looking for you everywhere. You've got to come home, Kim said. Oh, we're in big trouble. Mom and Dad are mad at us because you ran away. Claire squealed and told them we, how we teased you about being a chicken. Henrietta hopped from foot to foot. But I am a chicken. You aren't, Claire said. We made that up. Well, well what about the egg in my bed and the feathers? Don't be silly, Kim rolled her eyes. We put those there to fool you. Henrietta looked at the creatures, calling themselves her sisters. I don't believe you. What a dumb head, Kim yelled. You're not a chicken. Man, oh, look, Henrietta's with her friends. Henrietta turned to the brown hen. You would never call me a dumb head, would you? The hen stretched her neck and clucked as Henrietta st sat next to her in the warm grass. <sighs> I like being a chicken. These chickens are nicer to me than you guys are. But you're not a chicken, Kim screamed. <sighs> this is a perfect meadow, Henrietta said softly. Please use a peaceful voice. <laughs> White Hen added. Farmer Barney wandered up from his barn. Ho, ho, hey girls, hey. What's all the squawking about? <laughs> Henrietta thinks she's a chicken. Oh, Barney tipped his hat. Well, chickens are the greatest. <laughs> I wouldn't mind being a chicken myself. <laughs> oh, Kim glared at him. Mm, 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 mm. Hey, um, can I stay here with the other chickens? Henrietta asked Barney. 
Oh, well, always got room for another free ranger, <laughs> he said, and he headed back to the barn. We like him, don't we? <laughs> Kim hissed. You want to get us in trouble? Henrietta shrugged. Hey, I'm just a chicken. What do I know about trouble? Kim turned her bike around. Come on, Claire, let's go. Claire bit her nails. Oh, Mama's going to be mad at us. I, I don't want to go home. Kim rolled her eyes. You are such a chicken, Claire. Claire looked at Henrietta, sitting in the grass. Ah, the sky was blue, and the sun was warm, and the, mm, the meadow smelled like hot apple pie. Hmm, maybe I am a chicken. Claire said, hey, can I be a chicken with you, Henrietta? Well, <laughs> always got room for another free ranger, Henrietta replied. Claire parked her bike and sat with Henrietta and the other chickens. <sighs> I don't believe this, Kim said, and then she rode away in a huff. Hey, so what do we do now, Claire asked. Henrietta grinned. Let's play follow the leader. Oh, look. They're playing follow the leader together, and all the little chickens are following along. Of course, Henrietta was the leader. She strutted and squawked and flapped her wings in a glorious, uproarious chicken dance, and everybody in the meadow joined in. I bet y'all could do that, too. Oh, <gasps> how wonderful, how wonderful to be a chicken after all. See, sometimes families come in different forms. So we are chicken in the morning, chicken in the evening, chicken at supper time. You gotta be fat feet of chickens and be nice all the time. Our families come in different forms, it's true. You gotta be good to those who love you. You're a chicken in the morning, we're chicken in the evening, we're chicken at supper time. But the most important moral of this story is always to be kind. Y'all always be kind to your sisters and your brothers and everybody in between and your friends. Like my buddy Marvin. Hey Marvin, I'm going to give you a book back. Thank you so much for letting me read with you all today. I love you so much. Bye-bye. Y'all have fun. Bye-bye-bye. Oh, Chica Little one say bye. Chica Little one say bye. Bye. Chicken blessing. Thank you, Lily T. Rose. Enjoy your visit.